no. A whole lot of them went up in the air. There's actually a funeral going on at the time as well. Yeah, look at the camera. Oh my God! <laughs> You've been incredibly brave today, Mark. <laughs> having a wee to <laughs> so What we do today, Rick? We're going to get these bees out of here, hopefully. And hopefully? Say, well, <laughs> definitely. Hopefully, where are they going in? So it's inside that little, that little gap. And on the survey, which viewpoint is located around here, wasn't it? Yeah, we'll put a little video in of how we found where, how, exactly where the bees were. And what in that flight? And using our thermal imaging camera, we can see there's a distinct, ooh, distinct heat signature right there, right there. When I take my finger away, you can see, so the bees aren't actually where you would have thought they would have been. Rick is just doing a little video of the entrance point of the bees there. You can see his heat signature. And this is why you must, you must do a really thorough survey using all the proper kit different cameras, boroscopes, ferret cameras, you name it, we use it, and this is why. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the front of that void, and then we're gonna take all the comb out and we're gonna get it in a nuke. Nesting there, dude. Massive. It's not alive, is it? No, 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 it won't be this time of the year, mate. No. Oh, and the wasp nest will drop out, dude. <laughs> wow. And there is the colony, but there's an old wasp nest. I think these bees are taking this apart. That's what they're doing. What a strange thing to find when you're trying to take some honeybees out and the wasp just drops out on you. And this is exactly why you must, you must, you must have a proper survey done. This is why we charge for the surveys, because sometimes we was here, only here for a, an hour, maybe an hour and a half on this one, but sometimes we can be on a survey for four, four and a half hours, five hours even, and that's why we charge for it, because that time is very, very valuable. But if we hadn't have done the survey on this one, you would have just presumed, because of where it was, where the entrance point was, that it would be in this section. That would be your your guesstimation. We're not in the game of guesstimations. We need to exactly know so we can give you an exact price and exact quote, and we know what we're doing. So the first section Ricky's going to take out now. Beautiful temperament. Being a new colony though. But all of them all orientating, dude. The first piece of cone. I'm not going to put this in a frame. Nice. Well, we should have enough frames. Just drop it in there for now, just the bees on it. But again, another problem with our phones, if you're filming things, is even if there's the slightest little tiny, tiny bit of wind, it'll sound like you're in a gale force wind. If anyone from iPhone's watching this, get your act together, man. How much was this phone that I use? 1100 quid, I think. No, my, yours was 1100, this was 1500, oh, I think. Oh my god, that's really soft and really heavy. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think these are going to really struggle to go in the frame if it's that soft. Well, let's try. And if we get that in here, then they've got something to climb on, haven't they? Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Put it towards the back end. That's always a lot of bees in there, look. Just a massive clump of bees here. I wish I had three arms. How tiny that one is, then. So the quick look, I doubt the queen will be in there, but... What pleasant bees. Makes our life a lot easier when they're nice bees. Let's never speak too soon now. Yeah, Anything could change at any moment. That one just went straight from my nose and my nose is sticking in the veil. Ah, you see, this is why I wear a cap. You wear a cap underneath your veil. And it keeps, in theory, it keeps your uh, nose from getting stung. This could 
like snap in half at any moment. Right, are we going to do it? I'm going to drop them in there first, it's too heavy with the bees on it. It's so brutal. Okay. You want to shake it the other way, you know? I know, I know, but it's because the bottom's all so the honey thin. came out then. Oh, I didn't like that so much. Oh, so. Ow. Oh, because that's stinging my finger. Oh, yeah. Oh, can you pull it out? <laughs> oh. That's the Got first it. time I've been stung through these gloves. Oh, my God, that's made it worse after you just pushed on the mm. bladder. Accidents happen, sir. <sighs> So there's two of the bigger sheets to come and I think that's it, isn't it? There's nothing in the rest of the void, is there? I don't know, because the void stops there. There's a lot on the outside here starting to orientate as well. We just put the box there, can't we? Yeah. At this rate, son, we'll be uh, back for tea and tiffins. Whatever that means. Tiffins got something to do with curries, hasn't it? I've never heard that. You have, because you're a fan of Top Gear, and they had to move a load of the tiffin thingies, didn't they, on Top Gear, when they went to India, and they had to transport oh. them all. That's where the word tiffin comes from. I've got, you know, I can't see any food yet, but... Now that is the queen clip, because it'd be nice to find her. It's quite peaceful working at a crematorium, isn't it? Oh! They dropped. so heavy when they're all clumped together like that. See, I've got one little drop of honey on me and straight away a little bee has found it. Honey mad, aren't you? Place. But if you'd like to join our Facebook page with the other 8,500 people who follow us on there, just go to Facebook and put in pest interceptors and you'll find us. Sometimes we do lives on Facebook as well. The truth of the matter is, we love YouTube, and that's why we do everything that we do on YouTube. We've got so many videos that have got to be edited yet, haven't we, and, mm -hmm. and put out there. So if you're enjoying this, make sure you subscribe and maybe hit the, uh, the notifications bell as well. We don't just sort of deal with honeybees, we deal with bumblebees, wasps, hornets. What do we talk about? Asian hornets. Yeah, apparently Asian hornets have got into no. Guernsey you now, aren't they? Have a... We won't be able to touch them. Why is that? I believe you have to report them to someone. <laughs> the hornet police. The hornet police, yes. There'll be 50 levels of bureaucracy. It'll take about two weeks to get there. And when we, when a pest controller knows what he's doing, could have just whacked them and that was it, done. But that's the world we live in, I'm afraid, people. Oh, it's so hot. Is it really? It's all, I, I, I didn't realise all the honey was in the top left corner and I'm not really scared. It's that straight in a frame then. We haven't even had to use smoke on these, have we? No. Mind you, there's a fair bit of smoke come off the, right, the cutting. I'll lift that one up. Keep coming this way, will it? So unbelievably soft. Okay, that's the top corner kept. Uh, that'll do. Okay. There it goes. Grand and a half worth of camera and phone. Can't you turn the flash on? You know what I mean? Halfway through a video. Mm. Smells amazing, doesn't it? Smells amazing. These guys are just cleaning up. Any honey they can find, they're precious honey. And if they're really good bees, what will happen is they'll start fanning backwards from there. You can actually see that one there. She's got her little glands all open, ready to start telling all the other bees where they are. And here's the, uh, the third interceptor. Really quite pleasant, these ones are. Still not get too close. Is it open? Yeah, it should do, yeah. 
Yeah, we're, we're on the last sheet, the last piece. Yeah. yeah. How white it is, all the comb look. Yeah. It's just brand new. Uh, might have another one as well. Oh, right, okay. That this afternoon, then, eh? <laughs> Let's get that last piece out and then search yeah. for the queen, I reckon. You've not been, not been stung yet? Ricky got one in his finger, which I then accidentally pushed it into his finger when I was pulling it out. Accidents happen, Mark. Right? It's so hot in here, though, because there's no, hardly any breeze or anything. Right, let's all look for the Queen then. Queen, you show yourself. I reckon it should be in the clump up there. Or she's in this little clump here. Oh yeah, well, as long as she's in there, mate. And the smell of the honey. What's that in curry in there? A bit of wax or something. What we don't want for her to do, though, is to go the other side of that joist into that other void. That would be a pain in the butt. And so we'll get the smoke going in there because these ones are orientating and bringing, bringing these ones back yeah let's smoke them all into this side and then maybe put the nuke up here somewhere mark is the mice man the mole man any other job me and ricky don't want to do really <laughs> and this is the job i don't want to do <laughs> so it works out fine for us in fact if you'd like to watch some mole videos there'll be when you're watching on mobile there'll be a link right here right now and if you want to see him in a rat video, there'll be a link for that maybe as well. So, so you just give Mark a, a piece of stuff that smells of honey. <laughs> <laughs> you prankster. Right, so now what Ricky's going to be doing is trying to smoke them out of the other void space and then drive them into that side. They're all slowly coming this way now, which is the little one. And then hopefully they'll make their own way. I'm going to move the link a little bit closer to them. We're going to have a break for five minutes, I think, Rick. We'll see if we can see what happens when we come back. Okay, I'm kicking up some racket now. And these runs rather oh, white. <laughs> How much do you do this with your bare hand, Mark? No chance. Yeah, you've been incredibly brave today, Mark. <laughs> you have my wee to bix. The Queen's more than likely going to be in all this stuff. Oh wow, the pollen on that one there, look how orange that is, looks good. You see it? Oh yeah. It's up fluorescent. I'm not seeing any red. The, the red pollen is supposed to be off uh, horse chestnut, conkers. <laughs> this is so epic. <laughs> you know, bees can be this epic. The question is, do we put it in the entrance that way? Or in fact, I would, this point, way. I would point it that way, facing the entrance of where it was. Jesus, that noise in the way! Ah. <laughs> oh, we got some real orientation on the front end here. Oh no! This is not what we want to see. They all seem to be coming back to the box. <laughs> the queen decided to uh, abscond. She swarmed, a whole lot of them went up in the air. There's actually a funeral going on at the time as well. Uh, but it looks like the swarm has all come back to our nuke, which has got the rest of their colony in it. So that's a brilliant result. Yeah, they're going in the front now as well. Ooh, that was a scary few moments. Just gotta see up the other, other side of things now. Bees were here. I've slowly wrangled them up, and there they're off this part. And they're into there, so they were going in there, but now they can't get back in there. 
And you can see these ones right on the edge. Thumbs up in the air, ladies. We're sending out the pheromone saying, this hole here now is where we are. Basically what's happened here is the bees were in this section. We got them out of that section. The one thing that we couldn't find was the queen. And it looks like the queen found a sneaky little route over the top of this joist, over another joist inside there, and into this void space right under here. Swarm's gone off, <laughs> which is always an awesome thing to be in the middle of. But then it looks like the queen has found a way back in where the rest of the colony is. This was actually empty, wasn't it? When yeah. We came back up for lunch. Yeah, completely so empty. Is, get off my camera, you. How's it looking on the bees? It doesn't seem to be any bees like too far away from me, really. No, they're, they're all like, they've all come back now. A lot here. I'm gonna move this box back onto the edge. Oh, the weight in it all of a sudden. I think with the funeral still going on, do you think? I hope not. Taking that off. Mad, mad. <laughs> Look at the camera. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't forget, we also say bumblebees because there's some really great videos we've got. We'll put one right here. If you want to watch some more honeybee uh, removals, watch that video down there. Don't forget, subscribe. <laughs>